Have you ever wished that there was a way to split a long audio track into pieces, right in doodly? Especially if you need to add time between a sentence or paragraph in a voiceover? Keep watching and I'll show you how. So you've written the perfect script and recorded the whole thing in doodly. Or you've recorded it in another app or used a text-to-speech program. After importing into Doodly, you find that scene one is perfect, but there isn't a big enough gap before the first sentence in scene two. You could record the whole thing over in Doodly. You could go back to your audio app or TTS program and make adjustments, then re-import. What else could you do? First, click these three dots, then add track. This is a great feature if you want overlapping music, voice, and sound effects in the same video. This new line will help split our voiceover, or any audio line for that matter. Then either drag a second copy of your imported audio into the blank line, or duplicate the one in the timeline. Be aware that there must be enough space for the duplicate line to fit beside the original, or Doodly won't let you copy it. Here's a trick that will give you the space you need. Shorten the audio line by hovering over the end, then click and drag the double-headed arrow to the left. Then right-click and select Duplicate. Move the duplicated audio line up, somewhat aligned with the one above it, and extend both to their original length. Right here is where I need to add space between sentences so the words for the next scene start right when it starts. In the duplicate, I'm going to shorten the beginning to include only the last sentence. Then in the original, I'm going to shorten the ending to exclude the last line. Now I have two segments of the original to move independently so I'll scoot the edited segment to where it needs to go. Notice that the regular functions are still there, even though the segments have been edited. You can see that it would be really easy now to add another segment in between as well. Another bonus to having extra audio tracks is that you can customize the volume of individual audio segments or sounds. Now my voiceover matches the scene. But there isn't a big enough gap before the first sentence in scene two. Fade in, fade out is a feature that works on both music, voice, and longer sound effects in Doodly. Listen closely to the audio in this Doodly clip. Are you having difficulty motivating your managers and supervisors? The music starts and ends really abruptly. That's where fade in, fade out comes in. This feature can soften the beginning and ending of any audio track, allowing you to segue smoothly into or out of a video or scene. Now listen to this version. Are you having difficulty motivating your managers and supervisors? To me, the music sounds better coming in softly and then blending into the voice in the next scene without an obvious break. Just right click on the track, select either of the fades and see that Doodly puts a triangle on whichever end of the track you've chosen. Hover over the wider part of the triangle and drag the double headed arrow to extend or shorten the fade length. Undo any fades by right-clicking and unchecking the option. Check out this cool trick I've used here that makes fade out even better at the end of a video. It involves an easy extra step to fade out the scene too, and you can use this tip in any video as well. Use the snip function, also called a screen grab, to snip a sizable piece of white background from anywhere. Re-import the white shape 
and name it something you'll remember. When selected on the canvas, click the pencil icon and change the reveal mode to fade. Then save and return. Set your delay and duration for how long to keep the image before fading in the white mask. Enlarge the white shape until it covers all of the scene, which should be set with no extra time at the end, no transition either. Then add a blank white scene as your last one. Toss in your white masking shape set to no draw so the scene shortens enough and add extra time of one or two seconds at scene end and no transition. Extend your audio track into the blank scene and make the fade longer. Not only will your music fade out better, but the addition of the faded in mask will make your scene fade to white too. This technique also works as a fade to black scene ending. And depending on what you snip to use as a fading mask, as a fade between scenes. Ever have trouble placing your audio or even special effects lines precisely? You can use the marker in the timeline to adjust their positions exactly. My favorite thing about Doodly is the show preview mode. You can click anywhere in your timeline to jump to that portion of a scene, and even manipulate the marker to get a better look or to hear the sound better. It seems to be a little more accurate than the regular Doodly preview function. Okay, one more thing. A Doodly user had a problem. Their 10 minute video was complete, but the client then requested a change. They wanted to add a new scene and additional sentences in the middle. For clarity in this tutorial, we'll call this point NSP for new scene point. This timeline was set up with many separate audio segments and an added music track to accommodate sound effects. After adding the new scene, he'd have to move all these segments over one by one to match their corresponding scene's moved positions. That could get pretty frustrating in a long project. Until Doodly has a grouping function not available in this tutorial's version 2.7.4, this will remain a frustration. Using a video editor instead of this technique would be ideal for this user's problem. I suggested the frustrated user try this. First, duplicate the original Doodly project. And that is great advice for anyone needing to make major changes to their project. Open it and add another music track. If the original voiceover is exclusively in the microphone track, silence everything else by making the volume in those tracks go to zero. If there is an audio segment such as a sound effect that will always be in the same place in the voiceover, you can drag it from the silenced track to the one you added. Use the timeline marker to get it to the right spot. In this version, Doodly won't let you duplicate or delete the mic track. Think about this before any big projects and consider if creating with multiple music tracks is a good idea. Once only the audio you need to correct is not silenced, export your duplicate project to MP4. Search the internet for this phrase, extract audio from MP4 video online, and choose a free one. This one works for me. It has so many crazy good additional features too. Put the exported file name where it asks. Extract to an MP3. Then import the extracted MP3 into Doodly Sounds. And put a copy into each of the two added tracks. Use the technique at the beginning of this tutorial to shorten the ends of both tracks to the NSP. Separate and add your new segment. Restore volumes. Perhaps someday, Doodly will upgrade to add simple audio editing features. But for now, this is the best workaround inside of Doodly. Uh-oh, one more thing. I promise. There are so many free online sites that will help you up your Doodly game. Explore 
ask questions in forums. Don't be afraid to try something new and go forth and make fantastic doodlies. Thanks for watching.